Well, good morning, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm having a good one. Um, it's going to be a busy day. Um, I've got a lot to do. I'm going to be on the road and uh, taking care of some business and stuff. But um, Here's an interesting thing that happened this morning on Get Up. There was a poll out there um, asked by NFL players on the most overrated quarterbacks in the NFL. And they had this discussion on Get Up. Oh, my goodness. I know everybody's going to say, it's Dak Prescott because he sucks. Okay. Let's watch the tape. If someone sitting here said... With a healthy Aaron Rodgers, the Jets are the biggest threat to Kansas City in the entire AFC. Would that be ridiculous? Ridiculous. Yep, that's ridiculous because the <laughs> biggest threat to Kansas City is the Houston. The biggest threat is the Houston Texans. Because why? Because they have a better culture, number one. Number two, their quarterback is healthy, and there is no question about C.J. Stroud. And number three, their defense is just as good, will be just as good, and maybe even better than the New York Jets defense. So that is is the biggest threat to KC. Mm. Sorry, Greeny. You know, I love you, bro. It's just not your Jets. Moving on, next. Yeah, I had a little technical issue there. I didn't hear him, so I'm, I'm going to assume he said it yet. <laughs> next. Uh, Lewis, if I said Tua Tungavailoa will be in the MVP conversation in December, is that ridiculous? Yeah, no, it's not ridiculous at all. Look, we can bang on Tua all we want. We can talk about Tua every which way from Sunday, and we do in a negative way mm -hmm. but the young man is a good player and the young man right now feels wanted he has great weaponry he has a strong run game they have a good football team and right now he has a point to prove he will be in the mvp come december why because this offensive is, is explosive and he's a damn good football player full stop and he's got a great coach too and, and he was in that conversation for parts of last year all right one more would it be ridiculous if someone said josh allen is the most overrated quarterback in the nfl yeah, it'd be ridiculous. And I'll tell you why. And I don't want to have to use this as my proof twice. And I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I can tell you this: there's a football team. I'll reveal that team in the next segment. That said, when they go up against any quarterback in the NFL, the one who scares them the most, mm -hmm. and this is the football team that I think will all respect their opinion. The quarterback that scares them the most is because is that guy on your screen, Josh Allen, because he's a freak as an athlete, both, oh, both oh. as a runner and a thrower and a guy who they know can turn the game with one swing of that arm like he almost did against them last year in the playoffs mm -hmm. as a little teaser as to which team i'm talking Just about a little teaser. 100 percent and, and uh, let me make the, the the make clear look at this this time it's not john fink's fault usually i blame <laughs> rcp he says negative things about josh allen all the time Thank but in you. this particular case espn polled 103 nfl players and asked them a variety of questions and on the topic of who's the most overrated quarterback, Josh Allen got the most votes. Josh You Allen. see the top three just... vote-getters there. It's Allen, wow. and then it's Hertz and Tua Tungavailoa. For the record, Man, others this... who received votes are Justin Herbert, Trevor Lawrence, Deshaun Watson, Kyler Murray, Brock Purdy. Go ahead, Lewis. So, one thing, the reason I brought it up, and again, I am a huge, I've, I've said many times, if I had the second pick in the yeah. old draft, I, I would t everyone would take Mahomes first. I would take Allen second. Mm -hmm. That's just me. But, yeah, the, so now yeah. the players are saying that, Lewis. Your reaction. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm shocked. Look, and it's, it's the Kansas City Chiefs or the team that said, look, when we play Josh Allen, we already, we know. And with one swing of that arm, he can win the football game. And he almost and he did it against it them. Mm -hmm. Just this past year, if Stephon Diggs makes the catch. And that throw, maybe the only other quarterback that can make that throw that he made to Stephon is their quarterback. Mm -hmm. So basically they're staring at a guy who, who, who can do a lot of the same things that their quarterback can do. And the only way I can I can oh, really oh. kind of like look at this, you know, with a true, like I, I would say objective perspective is this. Any quarterback that I played oh, against snap. who had that dual okay. run-pass capability that I knew 
that no matter how deep. Hold on here, guys. You know, this is what's crazy. This is what's great about being a Dallas Cowboys YouTuber and having your man, your, your man cave center here, okay? You know, people make fun of me. They say, I'm you're too old. I'm 58 years old, soon to be 59 years old here and doing YouTube. They always said you're too old for YouTube. But we have some breaking news. Shout out Ernie, the Cowboys fan. Of course, I was doing a video talking about quarterbacks that were overrated. Here's the thing, the Dallas Cowboys, we had reported in our morning video, which is uploading now, it's uploading now, it's not finished, you know, ingesting and stuff. We had talked about Dalvin Cook was going to see the Colts for a workout after being offered a spot on the Cowboys practice squad. Well, it just came across that Dalvin Cook has signed free, a, excuse me, has signed with the Dallas Cowboys. Let me say it again. Dalvin Cook has signed with the Dallas Cowboys. What does that mean? Well, you know, I think some of this, if you ask me, you know, I know you didn't really ask me, but you're watching. If you ask me, I think part of this is about making Dak Prescott also happy because I don't know that it's just the money for Dak Prescott. If you're really asking me for Dak Prescott, you know, the difference of him getting 60 million or 55 million, if I can get a Super Bowl versus not get a Super Bowl, it, at this point in his life, $5 million, believe me, a year would be life-changing for me. But when you've already made the amount of money that he's had, the only thing, and actually it would be a great investment, is winning the Super Bowl. And I think this is one of those moves that they go through, it, and it's no guarantee it's going to work. We don't know if it's Dalvin Cook of last year that had a hurt shoulder and that he spent on, you know, although he went to a team that was uninspired, that was just bad, Aaron Rodgers goes down, it's like seeing the quarterbacks that they had, it's like, why am I going to kill myself for a team that doesn't have, and I'm not to say that, that, that you like that kind of an attitude, but honestly, if you know, listen, bro, if you know you're going home and your wife's pissed off, okay, you ain't in no hurry to go home to deal with that shit, right? Right? You're going to take your time. It's kind of like you always see those memes, you know, I like uh, uh, because my wife bought so many plants and stuff, okay? So you see the lady, she's down on the floor with a toothbrush cleaning the floor. And she says, "Me, uh, my, uh, we're going to have a conversation about my pant uh, buying after I finish cleaning. So she's taking her time. So that, that's what I'm kind of pointing out, that maybe part of it was this team's got no hope. So Dalvin Cook teamed up with Zeke Elliott. And we definitely know that the Cowboys looking in preseason, they weren't happy with all of the other stuff. That that was the position that we let go, it seemed like, the most guys. So congratulations, Dalvin Cook. You're on the practice squad, but I guarantee you that you will definitely be used this year. Oh, man, it's, it's getting exciting here. It's getting exciting here if you are a Dallas Cowboy fan. So uh, I'm going to get back to finishing this trashing Josh Allen. Uh, Josh Allen, Trevor Lawrence, and uh, Jalen Hurts. Peace. If I was as a safety on the football field, he could still put it over my head. Those are the guys who scared me to death. I remember Major Harris from West Virginia when I played against him when I was at Pittsburgh thinking, this guy can throw it from anywhere. He can mm. beat me at any time. I have to defend the entire field. Josh Allen does that. He does that. It's that simple. He simply does that. I don't know how he's number one on this list. It just makes That's no sense wild. to me. So help me with the psychology of this. You're a psychology major from Wesleyan University. Mm -hmm. Shout out. Mm -hmm. so, so help me with why do you think the NFL players think of him? Again, it's only 11 out of 103, but, mm -hmm. but for whatever it's worth, it's more than anyone else. Why, why would they say he's overrated? Uh, uh, this is top tier hateration, <laughs> Miss Dancery, as the famous Mary J. Blige once said. Um, so honestly, That's when I exactly read that, it. when I when I when I saw that, I I laughed to myself. I was like, okay, it's got to be just AFC East opponents. It's got to be Jets players that say like it's so wild and absurd. I can't. If this were something about Josh in his first year, right? Um, I would get it. But everything we applaud. Lamar for and CJ, which is, hey, he can kill you with his arm, he can kill you with his legs. You do Josh Allen, he will run through you. He plays the game like a running it's just back. A turnover. This is a guy who, again, we talked about it ad nauseum, 13 seconds left. Had that Bills defense held up, 
We're looking at Josh Allen in a completely different way. And Free. unfortunately, pre Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Pastor. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's that's <laughs> my, gets, my he frustration. He gets knocked down for things that had nothing to nothing do, to with, do him. with him. And I understand, like, turnovers and interceptions. Yeah. Okay, when he first came into the league, I get the criticism. But he has completely changed the way mm -hmm. he plays. And I don't know. It seems like people still have that old version of Josh in their head. You know, this is fascinating. Mm -hmm. This is his narrative. He started off at Reedley Community College. Then he transferred to Wyoming. Yeah. And in our own draft room, we had a lot of debate about his accuracy and his completion percentage. That's why he wasn't a top three pick. And to me, if you said he was over a coming out, Greeny, I would understand that. Because, right. again, there was a massive disagreement his over his ability. But fast forward now, I I'm floored by this because similar to what Lewis said, he could beat you from the pocket, but he, gosh, I know when we were defending him, we were scared to death what he could do outside the pocket, death. and he's only gotten better. Yep. Yeah, the quarterbacks who went ahead of him in that draft were Baker Mayfield, who went one, Sam yeah. Darnold, who went three, then uh, Josh Allen got drafted, and that was the, the year the that they had Jackson all those quarterbacks, including Lamar Jackson, who went at the very end. So, mm -hmm. look, I mean, it, it, the players are allowed to vote for whoever they want, and, and maybe there are some defensive players who look at it. Lewis, you might say, you know what? He's going to throw us one during the game. And, but, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and I, yeah, I get why a defensive player would say one. that. He throws a lot of interceptions. Game. He's also going to, you know, account for three touchdowns. Would she be shocked? Here we go. So, Kmart. Remember when it used to be they were counting every one of Dak Prescott's interceptions, and now, oh, he's going to no big deal. It's just Josh Allen. Interceptions are okay. All right, so, boy, it's been a busy morning already. Dag on. Yeah, see, this, this is why you got, you, you look, this could literally be a full-time job. Just sitting here waiting for the Dallas Cowboys to do something. Signing Dalvin Cook. Oh, my goodness. Are we finally seeing all in? It could be. I'm Mark Holmes, and you know what most people say to me? You know, you actually know what most people say to me? Shut the fuck up. Shut all the way the fuck up until you reach the top of Shut Fuck Mountain where there 